I do not care what anyone says about the state of Florida. I thank God that I live here every day, and it's not just because of the pretty girls, the beaches, and the sunshine. It's because we have the best governor in all 50 states, bar none. He is putting on a clinic showing how you deal with the MSM, how you deal with CNN. You don't whine about questions being unfair or leading or gotcha questions. He shows exactly how you do it. He put one of the most epic smackdowns on one of their little empty-headed twit reporters, Rosa Flores, yesterday at an event down in Fort Myers. And I'm going to play the audio of this for you so that you can listen. I can't actually show the whole video. I'll give you the link, and you can go to CNN. It's a copyright YouTube thing. But I'm pretty sure, 99% sure, I can play the audio without showing the images. So you can listen to exactly how you do this. Now, you're going to hear a female voice, and you're going to hear a male voice. The female voice, of course, is going to be Rosa Flores. The male voice is going to be Governor Ron DeSantis. Here we go. What has gone wrong with Governor? What has gone wrong with the rollout of the vaccine that we've seen phone lines jammed, websites crashed? It's a lot of demand. I mean, I think at the end of the day, excuse me, excuse me. If I could finish my question, you just said what has gone wrong, so I'm answering the question. If I could complete the question, though. So you're going to give a speech, or you're going to answer, ask a question? With all due respect, Governor, you asked the question. I'm I'm going to answer it. You're not. No, you're 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 giving a speech. You asked the question. I am trying to ask you the. You're going to ask how many questions? You get three? They only got one question. Why do you get three? With all due respect, Governor, I'm just asking if I could finish my question. You didn't. You finished the question. I did not. My full question is what went wrong with the rollout of the vaccine when we've seen phone lines jammed, websites So you're repeating your question. To complete it for you, Governor, we've seen websites crash and also senior citizens waiting overnight for the vaccine. Where was that at? We've seen it in Duval, Broward, Orange, and Lee County. And why was, like, in Lee, why did that happen? Did you investigate that's, why? That's my question to you, Governor. You're the governor of the state. I'm not the governor of the state. Okay, but you didn't investigate why that happened, like, in Lee County. Why, why was there a big line? Did you did you investigate why? Could you tell us because why? Because we, we distributed vaccine to hospitals, and, and the hospital said, first come, first serve. If you show up, we'll do it. So they didn't use a registration system. There wasn't anything that was done. And there's a lot of demand for it. So people are going to want to go ahead and get it. there was no plan then from the state to make sure that senior citizens didn't wait outside overnight? So the state is not dictating to hospitals how we're not dictating to Carlos Magoya how he runs his operations here. That would be a total disaster. These guys are much more competent to be able to deliver health care services than a state government could ever be. And that is how you deal with CNN. There's more to that clip, and like I said, I'll give you the link, and you can listen to it. You see, this is what they can't handle. This is what they cannot handle when someone stays calm, doesn't get emotional, understands the question, calls them out when they're trying to play a game, and delivers an informed answer. Because she had no response for that. Because she couldn't respond and say, well, yeah, government should be telling hospitals how they should or shouldn't do that. That would be ridiculous. Even Governor Cuomo, Democratic Governor Cuomo, would agree with Governor DeSantis on this. That the hospitals are the ones best suited, best trained, best equipped to deal with their own personal issues. She was talking about a very, very specific issue in one county. Other counties have done it differently. This is why Governor DeSantis is the best governor in the state, pardon me, in the country, bar none. The man understands what the role of government is and what his role as governor is. Now, some have called into question this idea that he has prevented local um, governments from shutting down businesses and locking down. He hasn't prevented it completely. What he's done is said, if you want to tell businesses in your city or in your locality that they can't open, you need to provide to the state 
documentation and proof that there is some death rate or some increase in your local area that warrants it. Because localities in the state of Florida do not issue business licenses. States do, in general, and the state of Florida does. So when the state says, here you go business, here's your license, you can open, you can operate, that's between the state and that business. Local governments might have certain guidelines, that's true, but to shut them down and basically say that their business license is null and void, that locality has to prove something to the state first, to us first, the people. And they can't do it. What the MSM has tried to do is inflate the case rate with the death rate. We have, and I'll admit it, we have a lot of people in Florida that have COVID. The vast majority, over 98%, have the mild version that they get over without even having to be hospitalized. That's what... MSM, CNN will tell you, they'll talk about the death rate of the whole country in other places doing things differently, going up, and then they'll try to conflate Florida with that. And that's the problem. They try to play these games, and the governor knows exactly how these games are played. Why? Because he is a trained JAG officer. He's a legal officer. Basically a military lawyer. And this isn't the first go-round, by the way, for Ms. Flores. See, she was in Houston back when Houston got hit with, I'm trying to remember which hurricane it was where they got hit so bad a few years back. And this regular citizen of Houston absolutely launches into her for being completely tone deaf. She had literally just gotten saved from floodwaters. She was still soaking wet, freezing cold. She had in front of, you can't see it in this picture, in front of her two little, her two little babies, two little kids. And they, they hadn't eaten and the kids were soaking wet and cold and freezing. And before the woman can even sit down, Rosa Flores corners her with, microphones and cameras trying to get some story and this woman just and i'll give you this link too i can't play this of course once again because it's a cnn video but i'll give you the links and it's worth watching you see this woman flores is tone deaf they don't care they do not care about you they do not care about me they are Ironically, for as much as they talk about socialism, some of the biggest capitalists on the planet. Because they worship their money. And believe me, she's got a little bit of it. She makes about 80 grand working for CNN down in Miami, and she's got a fairly wealthy husband that travels all over Europe. It's the same thing with uh, Mika Brzezinski and Joe Scarborough. Guess where they live, by the way? You know, the guys from... The married couple from MSNBC, one pretends to be a, the guy pretends to be a conservative and the, the woman pretends to be the, the liberal voice and all this. They live in Jupiter. They live two and a half hours down the road in one of the wealthiest, most exclusive Republican conservative areas you have ever seen in your life. So this is the game they play because to them it's a game. And our governor's not playing. Not when it comes to stuff like this. So, I know I talk about Florida a lot, and sometimes it seems like it's bragging, and I don't mean it to be. I don't mean it to be. But the reason I talk about it is because I hear these people, they come to my Twitch channel, they go down to my comment section, and they say, the country needs to go this direction, or the country needs to this, or the country needs that. Okay, we're a republic. We are a republic of 50 states. And if this last year has taught America anything, it's that we ain't all created equal, state-wise. Meaning, Michigan's walking one path, Florida's walking another. 
Texas, walking yet a third. California is literally walking right into one of the most epic collapses I've ever seen. Living in, quote-unquote, the United States or America ain't the same experience, depending on where you're at. And it's never going to be that way. And anybody who thinks it should be that way is pro-tyranny. I mean, if you think all of America should always do things all the same, you know, that's not what our founding fathers set forth. We were a republic of states. Each state having its own ability to govern itself. That's why we have 50 governors. What would be the point of governors if that was not the case? Each state has its own Supreme Court. Each state has its own House of Representatives. Each state has its own Senate. Literally, each state is its own little microcosm of what the U.S. is. We can govern ourselves. And Governor DeSantis is proving that. And he has proved that over and over and over again could not be prouder of this man. There are not enough superlatives in the dictionary to describe how good of a governor this man has been the last year. Thank God every day. Thank God every day, regardless of what happens in Georgia, what happens with the U.S. Senate, things are not changing in the state of Florida. This man's not going to be bullied. He's not going to be kowtowed. He's not going to be strong-armed or manipulated in any way. He represents the people of this state, and he represents them well. And Ms. Flores, once again, learned the hard way yesterday that simple gotcha questions ain't going to get the job done. So... Anyway, God bless. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you next time.